show you how to paint a slate roof. Um, basically the colour for the slate roof is a grey. There's lots of different ways of mixing greys and there is actually a section on this DVD showing you how to mix a variety of different greys. For, for this particular slate roof I'm going to wet the roof area first, carefully wetting up to the edge. So with some clean water, then with the large detail brush, I'm going to start with ultramarine and burnt umber. So it's quite a light grey and drop that into the wet. with a slightly stronger mix of ultramarine and burnt umber. So we're changing the colour slightly just and then drop that colour into the wet. So it's a, a bluey grey colour. make it a little more interesting, we just change the colour slightly. This is uh, a touch of raw sienna. Put that into the roof. Maybe even just a little hint of green. Some moss. Go back to a dark colour, so this is still wet into wet. with a touch of burnt sienna just along the, the ridge just put a light colour and some of that colour maybe into the, the slate. So the key to this is you just don't have a flat wash it's going to look pretty boring really. So a variety of different colours and then we allow that to dry when the roof area is dry, we use a, a dark mix of ultramarine and burnt umber. So really quite dark. With the half rigger, we just run that line underneath the, the ridge of the, the roof and we just put some of those ridge tiles on like that, just curve it slightly. Then with what's known as a nervous line, which is actually quite easy to do when you're being filmed, so you just run the brush along the first line and just make your hand shudder a little bit, just to keep, make it look a little bit more rustic. Like that. Now with a, a slate roof, um, if it's real slate, um, they actually the, the slates are generally smaller at the top of the, the roof and the slates become larger as they come down towards the, the guttering. Let's put that in. So small tiles at the top. And what you do is you the, the next line where there's a in between each slate in the center of the last one, you put a line down like that. So they, they stagger instead of all being lined up. They actually overlap and just carry on. But to make it look more 
varied, what you could do is have a few broken slates. So a little bit darker. Then just continue with the same technique down to the bottom of the roof. The finished painting is very, very detailed. Um, there's lots of detail on the, the brickwork and on the, the walls of the, the building. But the roof is lots of different colours, greys, greens, a um, bit of raw sienna. Just as long as it's not a flat, boring roof. Plenty of texture. This thatch roof is very, very simple. Um, what I'm going to do is show you a very simple technique using the wizard brush. But first we start with the large detail brush. Wet the roof area first with some clean water. So carefully paint up to the, the lines, not too much water. Don't want it to, to flood. Then, with some raw sienna, now this isn't going to be the colour for the thatch roof. As we all know, thatch roofs are rarely this straw sandy colour. This is um, raw sienna. Um, they're normally a grey colour, but this, this is a, a great little technique and it just introduces a bit of warmth to the uh, to the roof. So, some raw sienna. Then with the wizard, right, I'm going to mix up um, a grey colour, which is ultramarine and burnt umber. and a touch of shadow. So put that dark colour, put that over the roof, the top of the roof like that, bring that down. Onto the, the roof itself and just stroke the brush in the same direction as the roof. So just make it streak. So make this fairly light on the ridge. <laughs> Bring that down to the edge of the, the roof. Just pull that down. So you can see that raw sienna just glowing through the first wash. Then, with a slightly stronger, darker mix of the same colour. So, ultramarine, burnt umber, and a little bit of shadow. So, it's a darker mix now. So, to make this stand out as a light raised part of the roof, I'm going to make that slightly darker and that darker as well. So, just carefully bleed that darker colour into the roof. and on this side. So stroking the brush down very, very gently. So just the very tip of the brush touches the paper and it just releases a small amount of paint. So you get this streaked effect. Then we allow that to dry before we put the detail on later. For the ridge of the, the roof, um, just gonna put in the detail so there's a dark colour along the ridge there. Then it goes into a bit of decoration with a little diamond shaped cutaway. Then we have 
bit of detail underneath the chimney chimney breast and then with a very pale grey colour there's a little bit of um, decoration on the on the ridge a couple of lines like that and a cross hatch And to finish off the roof, just a little bit of detail on the uh, on the thatch. I'm going to use the wizard, squeeze the water out of the brush using the ultramarine and burnt umber. So just pick up that colour from the palette. Hardly any colour on the brush at all. And just lightly stroke the brush over the surface. Just to get a little bit of detail so just just having the tip of the brush touching the paper just streak that and then we'll just move on to the, the finished painting a thing to remember when you're painting thatched roofs is it's always very dark underneath the eaves so just paint that very dark and it will give the impression that it's it's quite a thick roof overhanging the walls and some shade on the window frame as well just to finish off I just dropped in a little touch of um, green with a bit of moss on the thatch roof as well For a clay tiled roof, um, generally they're um, that terracotta colour, so there's lots of variations on uh, terracotta. Uh, for this particular roof I'm going to use um, a variety of different earth colours. First, I'm just going to wet the roof area. The basic colour is going to be burnt sienna. But the trouble with burnt sienna is when you put it on, it's, it's a reddish colour and obviously it's the wrong, it's, it's too bright. So you have to adjust the colour to make it look more, more realistic. Change the tone a little bit. If you add a touch of ultramarine into that, see how it tones it down, makes it look a little bit more interesting. Or let's just put a little bit more burnt sienna into that. So make that just a bit darker down the edge of the ridge. This is uh, the colour shadow, which is that purpley colour, and drop that into the wet. Quite like this light area here, so we just leave that with light green, sunlit green. Just drop a little bit of green into the roof. This could be some uh, moss or lichen. Then we allow that to dry. Once the roof has actually dried off, um, it might look a bit mottled and you know, might not be quite happy with it, but this is what it really should look like fairly mottled. Once you put the uh, tiles in with uh, ultramarine and burnt umber, so it's a dark colour, and once you start to paint in the, the tiles themselves it will pull the whole lot together. So you just put a line 
on the underside of the, the ridge. There's some tiles there. Then the first line, just make the line just wave a little bit. Doesn't have to be too precise. Once you've painted in the horizontal lines, we then start to divide that up into the tiles. So, to make life easy, what you could do is just go along one row. Then the second row, you, you actually start in the centre of the last tile. For the ridge tiles, on the end of the roof, just paint those in curved. Then we move on to the finished painting. So plenty of um, detail. Uh, very carefully draw in all of the, uh, the the tiles and fairly dark on the underside so if you make this dark on the walls the roof is going to look a little bit brighter and lighter so keep it nice and dark underneath the uh, the guttering this demonstration is a tin roof um, it's a corrugated tin roof very rustic rusting uh, all over the place really probably leaks like crazy but here we go. Um, I'm not going to wet the paper first, I'm going to paint straight on to the dry paper. I'm going to start with some burnt sienna. So come along like that, so it's a nice rusty colour. Bring that down like that. So it's, it's actually two rows of tin. So they come in panels, so I'll leave a bit of white there. I'm going to add some cadmium red into that to make it a bit more a warmer colour. Leave some white. And while that's still wet, I'm going to put in a touch of cobalt blue. Just drop that onto the roof. Some more burnt sienna. So burnt sienna is the, the, the base colour. bring that down to the edge of the roof. Um, some cadmium yellow with cadmium red, so it's an orangey colour. Put that into there. Now I need sort of a, a purpley shade. So ultramarine Burnt Sienna, so it's a grey colour. I'm going to add a touch of Permanent Rose. So with that, just drop that into the wet. So Permanent Rose, touch of blue, Ultramarine. that colour, just going to run that along the ridge of the roof. Then we just let it dry. Moving on to the small detail brush, 
make sure that the background colour is dry. Um, using burnt umber and ultramarine, just wash in the corrugated roof like that. So you paint in the direction of the slope of the roof. Ultramarine burnt umber, so it's really, really quite dark now. And just paint on the underside of the edge of the corrugated tin roof. There's a dark line, so it's just these little little humps like that, and then where it joins here. So just make that a little bit uneven, darken that. So the line is raised up into the corrugation of the roof. So dark line there, so it moves on to another sheet of um, tin. And just carefully painting the detail. So when you finish your tin roof you should have just a, a mass of different colours painted wet into wet. The corrugated um, shape of the roof you put in these, these lines then where they join it's just these very wobbly up and down line. You just have to paint it very very carefully, take your time and you'll end up with a rustic tin roof. There are two things to consider when painting pantile roofs. One is a very distinctive um, colours, which is a terracotta type colour. And the other important feature is um, obviously the, the ridge tiles used in the pantile roofs. On a, a dry surface, I'm going to drop in some burnt sienna. Some raw sienna, just bring that down to the bottom part of the roof, that's quite a pale biscuity colour. Um, some burnt sienna, much, much stronger. Drop that into the roof and just touch it in so it bleeds into the first colour. Some ultramarine and crimson. So it's, it's just like a purpley colour and drop that in just to make that a little bit more interesting. Some blue, cobalt blue, that will turn it more of a grey colour so just bring that down like so. Back to burnt sienna Maybe even just a touch of green. And just drop these colours into the wet. Then when you think you've got a nice variety of different colours, that's the time to stop and just let it dry off. So when the, the roof is dry, you then paint in the, uh, the rows of tiles with, I'm going to use some burnt sienna and a touch of ultramarine. 
so not too dark. And just brush that down. So you follow the line of the roof. Run that dark line along the top of the, the roof, like that. Then with a mixture of ultramarine and burnt umber. So, nice dark colour. So, the top of the, the ridge, put these curves like that. So you just follow along the top and carefully paint in each row like that. And then coming down each row of tiles, just the curved line. And then the next one, doesn't matter if they line up, it can be different shapes, but generally they should go in a line across there. So up and over. And then continue along each row of tiles. I know it's going to take some time but it's worth it in the end. So with the finished painting we have these rows of tiles. Each individual tile is painted in. Um, obviously this is quite a large scale um, but if you're painting this much smaller then the important thing is just to paint those lines for the ridges. But on this particular roof lots of different colours um, very, very Mediterranean, very, very rustic.